house seems kind of empty now. We're, we're short a man. <laughs> we're one man down. One man down. Didn't know such a small, cranky little guy would fill so much of our home. Well, he's been in our home for like 10 years. I feel like we seem dramatic like well, he's no, dying nine years, or something. We got him when he was one year old. One, one year old, so. And he's not 10 yet. We've, he's almost 10. We've had him in our house the majority of the time for the last nine years. That's how pets work. What's today? Today is get out of the doghouse day. Oh. Get out of that doghouse. Is there anybody here from Pennsylvania? Today is your day, Pennsylvania. Time to go get Braley. And I did get a call from the vet. And Carlos is not being picked up until tomorrow afternoon. They said the uh, surgery went well. He did, he did a great job. I guess as great as a job you can do while you're sleeping. I guess a great job would mean like vitals stayed good and stuff like that. No complications. He's resting now. They want to keep him until tomorrow afternoon to make sure his medications are working properly. It was his right knee that I started with. They said it was the worst knee. They said they fixed it all up, straightened it all out. They said he will take about six weeks to recover. At that point, we go right back in for his other knee. Well, I was really sad this morning when we left him. Yeah, and I, I can only imagine how lonely he feels in there. Especially after they close and everything, but he'll be okay. Uh, He's gonna come home. Me, it reminds me of Homeward Bound. Animals get left alone, and they're like, I gotta find them! And so they escape. Carlos might feel like we abandoned him, but hes I don't think he's going to be able to run away. I don't think he's even going to be feeling anything. He's going to be feeling good. Now it's time to go get Braley. Our house has been oddly quiet today with no Carlos around. Because he usually is barking at something. Hi! Well, we moved right on to the next day. It is time to get Carlos. We were notified that he's in, he's doing great and is ready to be picked up. Yep, it's time to get our boy back. It's been so weird in the house without him for a few days. Yeah. It's almost been a full two days. Can't wait to see his face. It's gonna look like this. <laughs> Hi, this is David. I'm here to pick up Carlos. Sounds good, thanks. Uh, these are your medications to go home. They are both two medications. There's just a different. Okay, buddy. Yeah. Here. Okay, babe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, you call us if you need us, okay? Yeah, thank thank you. you. We got him back. He's actually pretty alert. More alert than I thought he was going to be. Yeah, we definitely were not expecting that. No, he's moving around quite a bit, which is kind of nerve-wracking. He's trying to look at it. I know. Yeah, it's it's swollen definitely and it's got staples actually. Carlos is going to have to wear his cone for about two weeks. You did good. We're so proud of you. Do you like these belly rubs? I bet you do. Nemo's so concerned. I can already tell this is going to be a challenge because he's already trying to move around and 
we don't want it to like re-damage itself. We're actually going to get kind of like an indoor fencing for him so we can have his little area without it. Yeah, right down here, just so he doesn't run around or try to uh, chase cats and stuff, especially days down the road when he starts feeling a little better. They said two weeks, the only thing he can do is walk around to go to the bathroom, that's it. So yeah, we're gonna keep him a little bit confined. We don't wanna take the chances of him going down the stairs, jumping on and off couches and stuff like that. Yeah, we're, we'll let him get on the couch for because he wants to be biased, but... He, he was just... getting whiny sitting on the floor by himself. And they, yeah. I know they said not to have them elevated, but if we're right here, we're not going to let him get down. Yeah. It's just, he, he just, he likes to be close to people and he's not going to sit still if he's on the floor right now. Yeah, I think part of it's because he doesn't feel good. His eyes are getting tired. Yeah. And then the cats start investigating like they're going to instigate something. Well, this one over here won't stop staring at him. He's so alert and like concerned, but Dory's kind of poking around like, huh, I wonder if he'll leave me alone. I wonder if I could rile him up. What what kind of stuff can we get into? I need to go get Braley. It is that time of the day. Where do the bus key this time? I will be holding down the fort with our uh, newborn level supervision. Dog. Newborn level supervision. Where? Yeah. Where did it? Where was I wearing this keys. morning? You need to put those tile things on the keys. Hey, today is be someone day. Like, I'm not sure exactly what that means. Does it mean like be somebody as in a? I'm gonna be Iron Man. Or does that mean like be somebody as in? I'm gonna. I'm gonna be a caretaker of my chihuahua today is that does that make sense Stacy no I'm trying to just figure out what be somebody day means you got jokes I got your backpack Mom's at home, okay? You have a good day? Okay. Good day? Good day. Yeah? You happy? Happy. Got your headphones on today. Was it loud today? How loud was it? Was it really loud? Found it. Ah, yeah. Live long and prosper. <laughs> Feed Here, him. Feed him. Give it to Carlos in his mouth. Yep. That's not for you. <laughs> I don't want you to try to eat it. Give it to him. Yeah. Feed him. <laughs> <laughs> Let him eat. Feed it to him. Look. Look. Go. Here you go. Yeah. Go ahead. Good job. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. No. Come to me.